All right, it's officially that time of year. The leaves are changing. We are hanging out by the fire, maybe bundled in our favorite plaid blanket. Just kidding, none of these things are happening where I personally live here in Texas. It's true that we are entering pumpkin spice latte season, but a lot of cities around the country just do not have those cool seasonal temps to go with it. But I still wanna feel like I'm in the autumn season, so I've rounded up my best tips on how to get that fall vibe, but still be appropriate for the climate. So let's get into it. Number one, and this is a big one, change up your color palette to earthier tones. Switch it over from pastels to olives, rust and browns. And also don't forget about your handbag. Go brown and black tones instead of some of those lighter beiges and whites. So even if I'm in a tank top and shorts today, it can look very different than high ward in the summer. In this example, I have olive greens and burnt adobe colors with brown accessories compared to the exact same $8 Target tank top in white with a kimono for summer. A quick color change can transition you into a completely different season. And number two is boots. Nothing says we are clearing out a summer faster than switching to boots in our wardrobe. Boots can be very hot though, so consider shorter styles like booties instead of taller styles like knee highs or even over the knee boots. In the example, I have on the same exact outfit with a short block heel, which 100% still looks seasonally appropriate here in my warm climate, but just by that one switch to a shorter booty, it really brought in the fall. Number three, dress in layers. So give the illusion of that bundled up look by wrapping a sweater or a jacket around your waist. You can carry a lightweight jacket in the evenings. Like in my example here, mornings were a bit cooler and I threw on a chunky cardigan, but by the end of brunch, I was peeling that back off and pack into a tank top. And obviously if you don't love tanks, go with a short sleeve option. Also, I knew I was gonna have sleeves on in the morning. So I opted for an open toe heel, that way I wouldn't get too hot too quick. And I also chose this heel because it is neutral and pretty much seasonless. And number four, try the athletic department for lightweight and moisture wicking fabrics. Do not sleep on moisture wicking athletic looks. This is one of my favorite ways to dress for the airport. Recently, I had a matching monochromatic fall look in this olive color, and these are some of my favorite joggers ever. They are from Target. They currently come in this olive and a few other solids, including a black that I also have. This is part cargo pant, part athletic pant with its recycled polyester and spandex blend. It does have moisture wicking and a quick dry fabric, and I can vouch for these wholeheartedly. Grab them if you are headed to a theme park, festival, airport, any of that, and I sized up in it to make sure it didn't cling. I will also link some of my favorite budget picks for that Lululemon thin athletic jacket that would be great to throw on or off and just wrap it around your waist. And number five, tried wide loop knits and lightweight sweaters instead of those heavyweight sweaters like this crochet top from Amazon. I wore this in white all summer long. It's actually marketed as a swimsuit cover up, but now they have it in gray and brown. I can even wear the black one that I already have, which I wore with black swimsuits all last summer, throw it on with a different shirt underneath, a pair of jeans, and it's a completely different look. I am nice and cool and seasonal. I do have a few others from Amazon that I will also put in the description box that are a 12 month wear for me. And this sweater that I have on from Target is another example of a lightweight, larger looped style in this camel color that would look great with a bralette and your favorite pair of jeans or even shorts this fall. This is 100% cotton too, which does lead me to number six, choose breathable fabrics. So choose more cotton than polyester, especially when it comes to those sweaters. And don't choose too much with wool except for true winter. Wool does help the fabric keep such a nice shape, but before it gets too cool, a midweight fabric like that is probably gonna be too heavy. And also check the interior lining. So look for non-fleece or really lightweight fleece when looking for sweatshirts, joggers, or sweatsuits, especially when it comes to the lounging category, like this classic sweatsuit from Walmart. This looks like it would have a fleece lining but it is actually a cotton blend. And number seven, show the season and your accessories. Try a flannel bag like this plaid belt bag from Target. I did wear it with a neutral V-neck tee and it instantly made me look like I was in a different season. Or maybe the Sherpa crossbody that I've been showing quite a bit from Walmart. And as a matter of fact, Target did an entire line of handbags in a lot of colors that have Sherpa and blue clay texture that I will link below. Like the Adobe one that I have on that completed the look. And if you have a neutral colored handbag, try tying a scarf with fall colors to really amp up that autumn feel. I would avoid rattan, straw, mesh, linens, any other summery looking textures in your handbags. Instead, try faux suede, blue clay, Sherpas, corduroys, and leather looking material. Number eight, choose opposite. So that means wear shorts with long sleeves or a pair of pants with a short sleeve top to stay cool, but still get to have a little sliver of autumn like I did with my airport outfit. 
Two piece sets are also a great answer for this. I have several from Amazon that I wear year round. And then this one from Target that is a matching set in orange made of French cherry that feels yummy for lounging, but I'm not also so covered up that I'm starting to sweat, which really is perfect because there are years here that right up until Christmas day, we are running around in shorts. I also like this two piece with a zip up hoodie that I can easily take off if it gets too warm throughout the day and I can put it right back on in the evening or just when I'm ready to be cozy at home. Number nine, wear a shacket, not a jacket. Besides boots, shackets have been my top seller for a couple of months already. We just cannot wait to get our hands on a faux jacket style. And I think this is a great hack for warmer weather too. So choose something that can actually be worn like a button down, not a jacket. So think more of a long sleeve shirt style that buttons. So lightweight cottons, brushed cottons, even lightweight corduroy will be thinner than flannels and wool. I do have one from Amazon in a plaid that is light enough for me to wear as a top. But if I leave it open, it looks more like a fall jacket style. And you can disguise the heaviness, especially if you choose plaids that will take you right into Thanksgiving. And if you do get an unexpected cool front, you can just throw it on with a long sleeve underneath. But solids like this one, also from Amazon in a corduroy, it looks like I am ready to go to the pumpkin patch, get it in any color. Also consider something like this cargo type jacket in 100% cotton from Target that does come in this mustard and a, and a couple of other colors to get the look, but without the heaviness. And number 10, choose relaxed denim styles and loose fitting jeans. Fall is jean season already for sure. People can go all summer long without wearing the first piece of denim. And the first 70 degree day, it seems like we all go running for our favorite bootleg jeans. So try a wider leg or a boyfriend style that will keep the fabric from sticking to you as much as possible. Most denim already has a lot of natural fibers, but when it's too tight, I really think you can get twice as hot. Slouchy styles will be your friend on those 80 degree days. And yes, I have a couple bonus that I want to mention. First one being bulky turtlenecks, cowl necks are going to heat you up very quickly. So look for v-neck, scoop, and crew neck styles this fall. Just that little bit of skin exposure can make a big difference. And I'm the first person to love the look of a bulky wide neckline. It is just a classic style, but I really can't wear it unless I'm traveling or much deeper into the season. So instead try a mock turtleneck and a sleeveless style for under a blazer for the illusion of layering up without having to actually bulk up layers. And lastly, don't forget to introduce fall into your beauty routine. Try a deeper shade of a lipstick or experiment with coppers and browns in your next eye palette. I also normally drop a shade in my blush color when I know I'm gonna be wearing less bright colors in my clothing. So have fun with it and embrace the season. And just remember that something has to give. You have to make hard choices in your wardrobe if you wanna survive the heat. I actually hear that we're having a cool front next week and it might be down into the 70s for a few days. So expect puffer jackets, maybe shorts and Ugg boots in Houston. We absolutely love it. Just remember for those of us having a heat wave during the fall, it normally means that we have that awesome California weather into the winter. So it's not all bad. I I would love to know in the comments if you have a warmer climate. Do you have any tricks up your sleeve to feel like you've actually changed into a new season? Please put it in the comments for everyone below. As always, I'm gonna have all the items shown in today's video listed in the description box. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see y'all in the next one.